When we say stomach flu, we usually mean viral infections which affect gastrointestinal tract. Common name of infection and inflammation of gastrointestinal tract is gastroenteritis. But gastroenteritis can be caused by bacteria also, such as Salmonella, for example, or Escherichia coli. So, when we say stomach flu, we don't mean gastroenteritis generally, but we mean gastroenteritis caused by viral infections. Now, let's say what is the most common cause of stomach flu. Most common cause are norovirus and rotavirus. These two viruses are most common pathogens which can cause stomach flu. Norovirus is responsible on 50% of foodborne disease. It means it's extremely common virus and it is one of the most common cause of food poisoning. Most common symptoms of norovirus are nausea, vomiting, watery diarrhea, abdominal pain, and sometimes low-grade fever. Symptoms usually last one to three days. This disease is usually self-resolving, and it usually affects all age groups, not only kids, but also adults, while rotavirus primarily affects kids. That's most important difference. No virus affects everywhere, rotavirus affects predominantly kids. Uh, no virus also spreads quickly, especially in uh, closed places such as cruise ships, schools and such places uh, where there is common and sharing dinners. Uh, this disease is self-resolving, symptoms are not very severe, so usually no need any specific treatment and usually no important complications also but rotavirus is very important because as we said rotavirus affects primarily children especially young children sometimes infants also and it's important because it causes se severe dehydration and severe dehydration can be life-threatening and before vaccination period lots of kids will die because of this severe dehydration because it's life-threatening especially young kids and infants symptoms are severe watery diarrhea often accompanied by vomiting fever abdominal pain and the symptoms last three to eight days and these three to eight days are totally enough to develop severe dehydration because severe dehydration sometimes is developed even one day if there is severe vomiting or severe diarrhea, especially among young kids. That's why it's important to remember that rotavirus can cause severe dehydration and it can be life-threatening. Fortunately, we have vaccine and va vaccine is highly effective and uh, in case of using vaccine, kid is protected from such severe dehydration. Treatment is rehydration therapy, rehydration solutions. If no rehydration solution available, pa uh, parent can do teaspoon of salt, six teaspoon of sugar, and dissolve in one liter of water and give to kid. And the kid should continue eating. It's um, sometimes, uh, sometimes parents say that sh uh, kid should uh, stop eating because he or she has diarrhea. No, it's not correct. Kids should continue eating if possible. Rice, bananas or toasts, these foods are friendly. Avoid colas and high sugar drinks because it can increase diarrhea. So we should know also what is red flags in ca case of rotavirus infection. And red flags are signs of extreme uh, dehydration. Extreme thirst, uh, a very dry mouth, 
skins or mucous membranes are sign of severe dehydration, little or no urination, severe weakness, dizziness or lightheadedness. These are red flags and patients need emergency treatment and emergen is emergency situation if there is red flags. So parents should be carefully and vaccination is best solution. Now let's say about the immunity. After infection, rotavirus has immunity, some degree immunity at least. It may last for several years, but usually it's some degree lifelong because for example, it, if it affects adult, these symptoms are not severe or it's asymptomatic at all. So some degree protection uh, develops also after vaccination of course and uh, about novel virus uh, after novel virus yes we have also some immunity and immune reaction but we have this immune reaction for specific strain which strain already attacked but no novel virus have several strains that's why person is not protected lifelong that's important also so if we have food poisoning, almost almost 50% of probability is novel virus in adults. In children, if we have severe diarrhea, highest probability is rotavirus, especially when children and the society is not vaccinated. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.